What's up JavaScript nerds? In this video, I'm gonna be going over the publish and subscribe pattern in JavaScript. And we're just gonna be learning it through a simple little clicker game that we're gonna create. So if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to make sure you get notified of my weekly web development tutorials. All right, let's jump into it. All right, so let's take a look at what we're gonna be making. There's gonna be an auto incrementing number of experience points, and we can click a button that will add additional experience points on top of that incremented value. So if we click it, it will go a little bit higher, and then we will get a nice little congratulatory GIF at the very end when we level up. So it's going to increment our level, The it's going to up update our number of experience points required for the next level, and it will reset our experience points back to zero. So this is gonna teach us a little bit about how we could decouple our logic from our UI, how it might be different than something that you're, uh, maybe a pattern that you're used to, but we're gonna be using publish and subscribe, and we're gonna be using a handy little library to kind of figure out the logic for us. So let's jump into the code. All right, so the first thing that I wanted to go over is just the index.html and just kind of quickly show you what's going on here. First, we have just generic markup that is laying out our page, and then we have three script tags down at the bottom, which is what I really want to show you. So the first one is a reference to a library called pubsub-js, and instead of getting you know a build going where we import it and all that, I just wanted to throw the CDN on here so we can get something accessible for you guys without having to go through all that work. The other two things are two custom scripts that we are going to be using to build out this game and then send da data back and forth between the two files. So this is where we're gonna be spending most of our time in game UI and game data. So let's close out of that. And what we have in game UI right now, just from the beginning, is just a constructor that's grabbing a bunch of elements on the page. And then in game data, all it's saying is game started, and then it has some default sets uh, set here for what our starting XP is, our level, and our the next uh, level XP. So what we need to do first and foremost is we need to get this auto incremented value. So when we load up this page, this progress bar starts ticking. So let's start off by um, just getting a couple different uh, generic uh, methods here in our game UI. So we need to update our current XP and we need to update the progress bar. So that's going to update this and it's going to update this. And um, I'm gonna have a link in the description that's to all this code. So if you wanna kind of read over it bit by bit, but I didn't wanna bore you with me typing all this stuff out super slowly. Uh, and then so what we wanna have happen is in our game data, when the game starts up, we want it to be able to just start adding up experience. So we're gonna set up an in interval that will auto increment the XP. So let's create a method for auto increment XP. And this is going to just have a small amount of experience of what, this, what level we're on times five, and that's how much experience we're gonna get next. And then so we want to have a method that's going to be adding that XP. And this is where we're first going to be taking a look at what pub sub the library will do for us. So we're just going to take in that amount and we're going to update the amount of uh, XP, XP that we have. But then we're also publishing that event to the rest of our application. So we uh, can do pub sub dot publish and then the first argument is just the name of the event that we wanna create. This can be anything we want, it can be, it's arbitrary. So the next argument is going to be an object of the data that you wanna send along with that. So when somebody or something subscribes to that event, we wanna be able to pass along how much XP is, is there is now, and then how much there is uh, until the next level up. So what we need to do is since we have, we wanna keep track of all this data in our, in our game data class, but we want the game UI to know about it, we can go over to our game UI and do just that. So we're over here in our game UI and what we wanna do is we want to subscribe to that event and then do something with it. So here in our constructor, 
we are subscribing to XP changed and we're getting the tag, which will be XP changed as well, and then data. And then, so we wanna run a couple methods here. We wanna run update the progress bar. So, and we want to update the current XP. So if we were to save this, we can see now here on the right side of our page that the XP is gradually uh, counting up. However, when we click the button, nothing's really happening. We just kind of wait until it gets to the, to the end here. And it kind of does something strange. It just keeps counting up the XP. It doesn't change our next level. It doesn't change our current level. So we have to, and when we click X, add XP, it's not adding additional uh, XP on top of it. So what we need to do back here in our game data is we need to set that up. So what we're ha gonna have next is we're gonna have another method called maybe level up. So once, uh, let's go back up here to the top, is we wanna say that when this uh, XP has changed, we wanna see whether or not we have leveled up. So let's take this method here. And we now have a maybe level up. So it's just gonna check to see if the XP that we have currently is greater or less, uh, greater than or equal to how much we need. And then it's going to sit, reset it back to zero, increment our level, and then calculate how much it's gonna co uh, cost to level up again. And then so once that happens, then we can publish that we've leveled up. And so we have now have on, on the data side that we've leveled up, now we need to tell the UI about that. So we need to go back to our game UI and we need to say, hey, once this has been, um, there's been a level up, we need to just do a congratulations. That's going to trigger a GIF and it's gonna fade it in and out. It's going to change what our current level is and it's going to change how much we need until the next level. So we have a congratulations method that we're gonna add right here. And so that's going to take in our level. It's going to set the inner HTML of this over here to our next level. It's going to update the next level XP as well. And then it's just going to fade in and out our huzzah <laughs> GIF that we've got going on here. So once this goes all the way up to the top, we'll just kind of wait for this. And it should act, bump up the, our current level and increment our next level XP uh, as expected. And once we do that, it should we should move on to our um, click event. All right, so we got to level two, the next level is 400, and then we saw Tobias come in there for a second. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we are just going to add a regular DOM listener to our uh, class here. So when the button is clicked, all we're doing is we're publishing an event. We're not sending any data along with it. We're just saying, hey, that button has been clicked. So let's go back to our game data and let's check to see what we need to do with user click. If we go back here, we can say in our constructor, Hey, the user has clicked, so let's run a method called click XP. So when we have clicked that amount of XP, we can create another method here, uh, and it's just going to use our add XP method, which we already created, and we're just going to add in how much ever we, uh, our level times 10, and then we should be able to get um, additional XP when we uh, click the button. So let's click and now all of a sudden it goes faster and now we have a fun little clicker game for us. So hopefully this kind of illustrates a way that publish and subscribe that pattern can be implemented in a quick little game. So you can send uh, broadcast events and then things can receive that data that that events sent out. So it's a nice way to kind of decouple the different parts of your application. And that way you're not having to call methods directly in other classes and kind of maintain this kind of spider web of classes calling each other and on and methods on each other. So if you liked the video and you learned something, hit a 
the thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you kind of think about this method. Um, if there is a question you have, also leave a comment. I'd love to talk about it. And I have a link down in the description of all of the code that we saw on the screen. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate the support and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.